right, today I'm with Laszlo, uh, and I've headed to Pembrokeshire National Park, which is in West Wales. It's one of three national parks here in Wales, and it is situated entirely on the coast. Now, today I'm going to check out three incredible coastal features, which you can find on the south coast of this national park. Now, there won't be too much in terms of drone work because flying it around here is illegal. But the first stop is the Green Bridge of Wales. Now I'll talk more about it when I go there, but this new location is pretty unique uh, in the sense that you've got to drive through a military firing range to get to the car park. Um, it's not always open. It's often closed for firing exercises. So there's a number you can ring, but there's ample parking once you get through. Uh, and from here, the Green Bridge is less than hundred meters walk. Now, for some reason, there's a lot of smoke. I'm not sure they're having controlled burns or they've elected a new Pope, but hopefully we can see some stuff. So behind me is the Green Bridge of Wales. There's not really any amount of superlatives that can do this justice. It's spectacular in every sense of the word. Now it's 24 meters high and 20 meters across. Uh, it gets its name, Greenbridge of Wales, from the grass which uh, covers the top layer of it. During certain times of year, you are allowed to walk out onto it, but again, it's a very important place uh, for nesting birds, which you can see are congregated on the bottom stack. Oh, that's magnificent. Now I'm gonna continue along the coast. In around another 500 meters, I'll get to stack rocks. So behind me is Stack Rocks or Elegant Stacks, which is the Welsh translation for guillemots. So these are 30 meter high stacks that just protrude from the seabed. They used to be part of the cliffs, but millions of years of erosion started with a crack, then an archway, the archway collapsed and you left the stacks. Stunning. Now they're a really important breeding ground uh, for birds, including guillemots, razor bills, and shags. So when someone told me I can find a shag here, I think I had the wrong end of the stick. But uh, absolutely massive things and stunning. Uh, you can skirt around the cliffs and see them from all angles. Now, if you head further down, you've got the Witch's Cauldron, which is about 500 meters. And then another mile is Bull Laughter Bay, not Bull Slaughter. That's a really secluded beach. So if you're looking for a private beach, I'd recommend that. But if not, Just finished visiting the Green Bridge of Wales and Elegant Stacks. Uh, stunning as always. Uh, back at the car now, and I'm going to make my way to St. Govan's Chapel, which is a couple of miles down the coastline. Now, you can walk from here to St. Govan's, it's five kilometres one way, but because you can drive to both and park nearly 100 metres from each one, I don't see the point in doing it. There's plenty of other walks in Pembrokeshire which are far better than this one. So, I'm going to make the short drive and go check out St. Govan's Chapel. just wandered down through the majestical uh, St. Govan's Chapel, which is built directly into the cliff face here on the Pembrokeshire coastline. It's absolutely stunning, this gorgeous little atmospheric church. Now, the origins, origins of this are a bit of a funny story. Apparently there's a bloke called St. Govan who was uh, flocking here 
uh, by boat and he was pursued by pirates so he fled here apparently a cleft in the rock just opened up and he went in hid and it saved his life so uh, as a way to thank God he sort of based himself here as a hermit um, in the 5th and 6th century but the chapel apparently dates back to the 13th century uh, and was built as a tribute to that man uh, I say he just sort of got stuck by the coronavirus lockdown of the 5th century and Drakeford's relatives put some really harsh restrictions in so he couldn't leave but absolutely stunning car parks just above it free to park and it's less than 50 meters and he walked down a set of polished steps absolutely stunning So this final location that I've come to is called Huntsman's Leap and it's a deep, narrow chasm located in the limestone cliffs. It's about 700 metres from St. Govan's Chapel. You can walk here in just over five minutes. Now the name comes from folklore. Apparently a huntsman leapt over this gap on his horse and uh, when he looked back he died in shock. Again, there's some really odd folklore in Wales but super super impressive and just another incredible coastal feature on this uh, stretch of coastline here on Southern Pembrokeshire. Anyway that's it from me hope you find it useful thanks for watching until next time Diolch and Val, go boy! <laughs>